gentlemen, this is Vangelis. We're CP3Ping it now with Fortis, the Rhino. Uh, and he's got a big-ass cannon. Uh, he's dual-wielding this thing and balancing on a one knee. Uh, dual-wielding, sorry, dual-fisting and balancing on one knee. Dual-gripping? Uh, anyway, this thing <laughs> looks friggin' cool. He's also got some guns stuck on the sides of his arms. But I'm going to see if I can just slide this out of his grasp for the moment and take a look at what the figure is uh, without an enormous weapon attached to it. Now, this guy... Uh, is another one of them things. I'm gonna say this every video even though you're probably watching these in in sequence, but uh, these are uh, Prototypes mostly put together to see how the parts fit So these are not indicative of the production quality of the figures as such if parts on these guys look a little rickety That's most probably gonna be fixed before you actually get the one that you potentially have ordered so stop worrying and uh, let's take a look at how this guy poses. Uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna, I mean, I'm practically moving most of his joints anyway, getting him into a neutral position. But uh, let's take a look at how he works. Uh, he's, again, beefy. The thing I've noticed about these Mastermind uh, Feral Cons is that they are, they are beefcake, man. They are, they are big toys. And uh, he's also got some swords in his back. Oh, here, that's how they fit in. These things, it looks like they just slot in to, whoop. These little spots in the back here. I don't want to mess around too much. But, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. So he's got some he's got some daggers for, for messing up your day. Those are pretty serrated. But uh, as for posability, uh, his head... Whoop. Oh, his face... His face can nod. <laughs> and uh, his head, I believe, can swivel. Yep. So it's, it's not a ball joint, but there is a swivel here. And then a nod here. So you kind of have the full... X, Y axis uh, range of motion going on, just with two joints rather than a ball joint. Uh, as for his shoulders, uh, they are ball socket attached with a decent range of uh, motion, mostly forward and backward, but there's a little bit of uh, the other axis as well. Uh, his elbows appear to be... Oh, these are these are ratcheted. They're double jointed and these, these are tiny but really strong little ratchets. Um, my microphone's pretty far away. We fixed that. His wrist can swivel around. Uh, I believe he has a waist joint. Uh, his, his side skirts are actually on a uh, similar setup to the side skirts on the Mastermind Seekers, the Hearts of Steel Seekers, in that there's, like, one ring that moves on the top and another ring that moves on the bottom. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But I believe this also means that, yes, his waist can swivel. Uh, as for his hips, they are on universal joints that have a nice ratcheting feel to them. There is a thigh swivel. Uh, there is... Oh! Okay, this is a beefcake knee, but... Oh, okay, I like this a lot. Uh, I don't believe this is double-jointed, but look at the size of his legs. Does it really need to be? Maybe, but he can kneel. So he's got 90 degrees, and I'm okay with that. Uh, and his ankles are on... Oh, there's a ball joint on the stem, so there's actually quite a range of tilt and motion to these, along with a toe, uh, toe joint. So this guy seems pretty posable. Uh, as for transformation stuff, um, as I keep repeating, I'm not going to try to transform this guy as like, you know, I don't want to be the one who breaks it. But you can see there's somehow, some of how this transformation works. I mean, there's a big-ass rhino head right up here. It's got an opening mouth, real pointy horn on the top. His face can do this, so, you know, it flips up like that. Um... There's some stuff that can move over here. Oh, okay. There's also that. Uh, I don't know what that does. <laughs> and uh, I believe that his... Yeah, some of his beast mode stuff is all tied up in these, these blocks on the sides of his legs. And I don't want to disturb this too much. But yeah, uh, this this bit moves around like thusly. Oh, and it tab... Okay, that's cool. So there's spots here for it to tab in to place when it's down here. That's why it felt so solid. Cool. Okay, well, that's Fortis. Uh, we're probably going to look at Bovis next, because that guy is a whole lot like this guy. But uh, we'll see if there's anything different at all about him. Uh, and we'll be back soon with some more CP. 3P. Sometimes with a little bit of O. I almost forgot to take a look at this thing. So this is uh, this is the foot uh, for Feral Rex. It's, it's, it's big. And it's got one of the hands uh, attached to it in here. Uh, and I, I don't know how this whole system actually plugs together. Uh, this is again that thing of not wanting to push my luck too hard, but I can see there are fingers in there. There is a thumb 
Uh, clearly this stuff can move. How much? I'm not sure, because I'm not sure how this is even attached. Um, what parts look like they move? I, hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what this works. Okay, so clearly there's a there's a tab up here. You can see right there. How it's tabbed into the, the top of this thing. There's a, a connection point here. I suspect it separates here, but uh, nah, I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to get this out. Come on. Nope. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> I tried my best, and uh, my best was not good enough. Anyway, that's Fortis, uh, and now we're gonna take a look at. Probably Bovis.